it is time for the summer capsule wardrobe transition which if you're watching this video from like anywhere in the UK or basically anywhere in Europe you're gonna be like Anna are you crazy it has rained all week <laughs> yes it has however um, I'm gonna obviously take that into consideration but June is summer like in my diary it said it was time to put the summer wardrobe in so that is what we're doing um, hopefully the switch around that I'm gonna do now will last me through June, July, August, then I will move into my autumn capsule wardrobe more like September, October time. But given the current weather conditions, I am going to make sure that I've got enough clothing in here to have options for if it is a little bit chilly, if it is raining and the British summertime is just doing its traditional classic thing. That's why we love it. But it's also time to pepper in a couple of summer basics as well. Uh, if you're new to the capsule wardrobe thing, then hi, welcome, come join the club. Um, I will link some videos down below for you. I will link a video up here that explains the whole process a little bit more. Um, but yeah, there's like a little blog post down there with five steps to make one today, if you're interested. I've also written a book uh, called An Edited Life that has a whole chapter on capture wardrobes and how I work with mine, how to take care of it all, how it works best for me. I will link that down below for you. It's available worldwide. Guys, on a fourth edition, what the hell? Thank you. But like I said, today it's time for the summer transition. And um, so there's definitely a few things that I think I can take out of here. I've got loads of boots. I definitely don't need as many boots. There's some sandals that I want to put in here. A couple of dresses. I could probably get rid of a couple of pairs of jeans. Although I like to have options there. I can probably condense this bit down a little bit. Um, I will say that before I went to California, I did have a, mi a mini switcheroo, just like a little one. I was feeling very stressed. I had obviously had Bali, India, California, and I was just like, oh my word, what the hell is going on with my wardrobe and my clothing? I feel very confused. So I sort of had a mini summer switch out. Um, so my summer bags are like in here already. And I put like my realization Pasca in here. There were a couple of things I've added, but the main transition is gonna be to Today. So I'm going to talk you through the process uh, as I do it, show you the things that are coming out, show you the things that are going in. Uh, but the first step, as always, is to take everything out of your wardrobe, which is just ridiculously fun. This is the best bit. One, one swoop. Done. Oh. This section here is kind of out of shot, um, but I have two chunky knits and then like a chunky cardigan up there. And I think I'm going to leave that section as it is, um, just for like backup in case, I don't know, something crazy happens. Global warming is real people. And I think I'm gonna keep these jumpers the same as well. I've got a gray cashmere jumper, a white cashmere jumper, and I think I've got a black one that is currently in the wash. So I'm gonna have those there. They're just like my basic cashmere jumpers in case it gets a bit chilly. I'm going out in the evening, wanna put something over my arms, do that whole preppy look thing. So I'm gonna keep that the same. I'm gonna have a sort through my jeans. If you can see anything at the back here, these are like my hoodies that I wear for bed. Uh, so I'm gonna leave those there. I love to wear layers in bed and like sweat it out. I know it's disgusting. And then just at the back here, I have my white t-shirts and my black t-shirts. I think what I'm gonna do, um, someone came up with this idea in my last capture wardrobe video that I did. Thanks, genius, was to have like a little basket down here and I can put all of my t-shirts in it and it'd be a bit more easy to access. Love the idea. So. Definitely gonna look into that and hopefully for my next round of capture wardrobe moving around, I will have that sorted. Um, but I went through those quite recently and like kind of got rid of any that had really yellow gross stains, kept the ones that didn't. So I think we're all right with that. For summer bags, I've got four. I've got this LME one, which I think I picked up as part of my spring capture wardrobe haul. Love that, I'm gonna pop that in there. I find myself using that one a lot actually. This is a Simon Miller one. I always wanna say Simon Birch. I went to uni with someone called Simon Birch. Always want to say that, um, I picked this up, I think in the net a uh, Christmas sale, and it was an absolute bargain, um, but that was really, really nice, especially when I was away. I think all this a lot in Bali and India. And then I've got my little Alien Nina rope bag. This was something that I got out before I went to California and just popped in there in case I needed it. I love that bag. Oh, and the other one that I've got is from Wood Grey, and it's like a little basket bag, and I got this out when I went to Bali, and then I just put it back in. So, summer bags are sorted. Um, I tend to like to do shoes first. They're like the least stressful part for me. I don't really own too many shoes, um, and I have quite a few pairs of boots. And here I've got my Chloe Susanna boots, my Ganny boots. These were a spring capture wardrobe purchase as well and I've had people ask me how I found them. And um, for a boot, I have to say, I found these really, really comfortable and in terms of like wearing them in, 
really minimal. Like if you wear socks with them, I haven't had any lip blisters or rubbing or anything like that at all. So really impressed. I think I sized down in them too. Um, I think I'm normally a 39 and these are a 38. Um, but yeah, I haven't had any problems with that. So they're brilliant. My Topshop snakeskin ones, I definitely haven't worn these as much since I've got the Gammy. They're very sort of similar styles. So maybe these ones can go away. And then I've just got my Acne Jensen boots. These are just like a plain Chelsea boot. Up at the top, I did add two pairs of shoes in when I did like my mini little one earlier. I'm sorry, I should have filmed it. I'm terrible. These are from Topshop. These are from Sam Edelman. These are definitely going back in. Then I've got my Gucci loafers and my Vans trainers. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is go under my bed, which has like my surplus shoe collection in and just work out if there's anything that I want to put back in here. And then take it from there. So from under my bed I picked out these two sandals. These are the Lock sandals. Extremely pricey. They still do them. I'll link them down below but I'll also link a dupe for you. There are so many high street dupes of these. The other ones I wanted to put in are from Saint Laurent. Uh, these are ones that I got last summer and I really, really enjoyed them. They're just simple. They're tan. They go with everything. They go really nice with this outfit actually. I've really been trying to go for a more edited approach with my capsule wardrobe. I felt like I was just stuffing way too much in here and I was getting a bit like, ah, oh, it's kind of losing the whole point. The idea is that there is less to pick from making it easy to get ready in the morning. I think I'm gonna do a blog post on it soon because I've been thinking about it a lot. So I would rather put less in and then if I have to like beef it up with a couple of bits like mid season, that's cool. Um, I think I'm gonna try and have like a sandal area and then non-sandal area underneath. I'm going to put back in my Topshop ones and then back in my Sam Edelman ones. I get so much use out of these. I've got six pairs left here and I can fit four on each shelf. I filled up this one so I've got one shelf left. I think it's quite easy to work out like what needs to be here and what doesn't. I think I'm going to put the acne boots into storage. The Topshop boots into storage. These are more of like an autumn pick for me so I will get them back out then. And then under here I'll put my Chloe Susanna boots. I like these because they're very flattering around the ankle. I know I say it every single time. We've heard you say it before, um, but they're very flattering around the ankles, so they look good with like dresses or skirts. Then I'm going to pop in my Vans, Gucci loafers, shoes, done. I had to sort through so that all of my winter stuff is up in the loft, which just made it really, really easy for this. So all of my summer stuff is in here. I don't need to like traipse up into the loft to get down a suitcase, unpack it, repack it, any of that. So it makes it really easy to pick out the summer stuff that I want to have in my wardrobe. I've picked out two things already. This is a Faithful the Brand dress. I've got two pairs of denim shorts. I've had these for years, like three years. I just thought I would go for the white pair and then more of like a darker wash pair. There are more denim shorts in here. That is a denim jacket, this denim shorts, this denim shorts. And there's quite a few things in here that are more like a holiday pick for me, like these linen trousers. So I feel like if we were to go on holiday anywhere hot over the summer, I might need to dig in here for just a few bits that I wouldn't necessarily wear in the UK, but I might wear when I'm away. Um, this is all of my occasion wear, like, oh my God, I love this so much. I think it was from Mango. The yellow jumpsuit, there's like a red jumpsuit, my stripy jumpsuit, my red suit. And then in the corner, I've got some more dresses as well. This is Ganny, this is my Isabel Moran, and then I've got, oh, I'm definitely going to take this out. That's from Realization Par. This is from Realization Par. I think I'm going to try and hang those up. I feel like the rest of this can stay in here. I've got a couple of weddings that I'm going to, but when they come up, I can just get out these occasion wear pieces, hang them up, steam them, and they're good to go. So um, yeah, I think that's kind of it for under the bed. Ugh, I just wish these were easier to close. I have to close them with my feet. Look away if you don't like feet. I feel like you can always tell when a season isn't really somebody's vibe because when it comes to the capsule wardrobe, I'm like, I'm kind of just keeping it the same. <laughs> um, but there were a few things I want to add, um, so it will probably help if there are a few things I take out just so it doesn't get too overcrowded in here. I think I'm going to keep both of my dungarees. I've got like a dark wash pair and then a white pair. And I think I'm going to keep those just because I like dungarees. Like you could very easily wear them with like a t-shirt underneath and they could feel quite summery. They're such a good like year round piece. And then I think on the top of those, I might put the shorts. It's easier to find them in this pile rather than like my big jean denim pile. In terms of jeans, I think these are all out of the wash. I don't think there was any in the wash I've just put in, so that's good. So I can kind of see everything that I've got. Um, this sandy coloured pair from Topshop, definitely keeping these out. Um, and then I've got two, oh god, I've got two cream pairs and a sandy coloured pair. <sighs> I love jeans. This is always the hardest bit. I think I'm going to keep both of these because if there is a time to wear 
white and cream denim, it's the summer. So they're going to go back in. I think if I'm going to put anything away in storage, it will probably be this leopard print pair. I love them, but they definitely feel more autumnal to me. Um, and then maybe if I just keep one pair of black jeans, um, these are the Kate Wendell pair. These are like the wide leg pair. Then I've just got one pair of black jeans. That feels, okay, two pairs gone. Better than nothing. That's quite nice actually to have a black pair, a blue pair, more of like a bleach wash pair, a cream pair, a white pair, and then a sand pair. Who knew you needed so many pairs of jeans? I'm keeping my bags here, so now it's just hanging space that we have to do. We are breezing through this. This does need editing somewhat though, because I do have a couple of things I want to add in. Okay, this is definitely going back in. This is the Realization Par No Skirt. I'm sure I got an email from them to say they now have like faster shipping to the UK. So if ever you were interested before and didn't because of shipping and expense, that is sorted, I think. Uh, these are the two camisoles that I bought when I was in San Francisco, part of my California haul. I'll link that up in the corner for you. They are definitely going back in. This one is from Topshop. I got this like three years ago when I started working with Topshop and I still absolutely adore it and whenever I wear it I always get questions about it and they don't have the exact one in but they do have one that is similar. I will link this down below for you. And I'm going to put this under the stories um, oversized white shirt back in or oh, it's starting to go under the armpits a little bit. If anyone has any advice for how to get a sweat stain out from white I am interested. But that is really nice to wear in the summer like even with this outfit and that. Oh this is from under the stories as well and I think I'm going to put this into storage because the sweat marks with this and me ain't cute. That's freed up a hanger which is brilliant. I can put one of the Realization par dresses in. Put that there. I have a little dress section. Oh I never have a dress section. I'll put up this other Realization par dress as well. This is something that I actually clawed back. I think I'd taken it out of my spring capsule wardrobe and then when I was like moving stuff about in my suitcases when I was away I saw it and I missed it <laughs> and I was like yep yeah, that is going back in. It's from frame um, a few years old now but it's one of my favourite shirts, just love a polka dot. Uh, this is from Frame as well, and this is a short sleeve black silk shirt that is definitely going back in. And then I definitely don't need two shirts, what shall I do? I think I'm gonna put the equipment one that has like the piping, I'm gonna put that into storage and I'm gonna put the plain black Cezanne boy shirt. I will link this down below for you because this is such a staple in my wardrobe. And the silk is nice and thin, so it is still thin enough to wear in the summer. That has freed up a hanger so I can hang this up. This is from Faithful the Brand and it's like a midi wrap dress. And you can see I don't have many dresses. I mean I've got two in there now, I've got one skirt. So this is almost like a more formal dress I feel. Um, I've got a wedding reception coming up and I think I'm going to wear this and I just feel very comfortable in it. It's slightly more revealing because of like the slit up the front so wearing it like day to day to London I'm not sure I'll be doing that um it might be nice if like we're going out for drinks or something in the evening and I can say that because I did actually go out for drinks the other day shocking I know I stayed out till 3 a.m who am I and then for jackets um again I had a little mini edit like earlier in May um but I left my under the stories gold detail leather jacket if anyone ever finds like a gold detail one like let me know and i can like put out the message because i get so many questions about where this was from is it still available people love the gold detailing i have never since seen a leather jacket with gold detailing um so yeah if you see one that isn't like thousands and thousands of pounds let me know i'd love to tell you lot. I left this jigsaw one in. I think I'm going to pack this one away into storage. Like this just feels a little bit too thick. I feel like if I've got my leather jacket and then this white blazer, I feel like I've kind of got enough. You've got to remember I've still kept my like chunky under the stories like big amber knit in there and also two chunky jumpers as well. So if it is chilly for any reason, I can wear those. Um, but I think that's enough. Like I really don't want to have too much up in this space and we'll be able to see everything. Oh, that looks so cute. So this is my finished wardrobe. Let me give you a little view at the top there because I think you haven't been able to see that for the rest of the video, but I've just got my away suitcase and a massive wood gray basket bag that's like perfect for hand luggage and my other mini wood gray basket bag up there. And then here you can see the jumpers and the knit that I was talking about. And then also I've got my cashmere jumpers here. Like I said, my black one is in the wash. Um, so these are my dungarees and my denim shorts. 
Down here, I've got my condensed denim collection of jeans. Then I've got sandals on this one, and then boots and flat shoes under this one. Really need to sort out my Gucci's, give them a bit of a clean. Is that the bougiest thing I've ever said? Yes. Got my bags at the bottom, and then up here, I've got jackets on the right, and then I've got shirts, um, but I've mixed in this one, like this print here. It just looked a bit better there than putting it with the rest of my dresses, which are here. I've got my camisoles, I've got my skirt, and then I've got another dress, and that is it. So everything that I've said that I'm gonna pop into storage, I'm gonna do that now, but really it's not a lot. I feel like I kind of cheated because I did do that like mini sort out in May, um, so I feel like actually there wasn't really too much I needed to add back in. Um, two things I'm really missing are my black camisole. It was from Whistles, I had it since we lived in London, so I think it must be about four or five years old now, and I got sun cream on it and just completely ruined that, so absolutely gutted. I did it when I was in India with the ASOS white uh, little camisole that I had, like the double layer cami, and I can't remember what it was, but it was like a black mark that went on it, I've washed it, it won't come out. Um, so I really messed up those two camisoles, and which is kind of why I bought these two from Shop Anno Me, but maybe just like a basic black and white camisole, that's probably like the only thing that I can really think that's missing from here. But yeah, no, I'm really chuffed with that. I feel like it's a lot more edited than previous capsule wardrobes that I've done, but I really, like, I was yearning for that. I was yearning for, like, less and really taking it back to, like, the bare bones, and I feel super happy with the end result. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching me make my summer capsule wardrobe, and um, let me know if you're doing it yourself. Oh, send me, like, an Instagram DM. I love an Instagram DM. I do try my best to reply to as many as possible, but if you're doing it today, send me an Instagram, let me know. I would love to see what you're up to. And I will be back on Wednesday with a brand new video. So I'll see you then. Bye.